Hi everyone. In this video I'll teach you how to create a modern Ramadan poster design in Adobe Illustrator. First, create a new document of these dimensions. Go to the File menu, Place Embedded. Select the image and click on the Place button. Link to this image mentioned in the description of the video. Adjust its size and position. Go to the Rectangle tool and draw a long bar rectangle. Bring this rectangle down to the image layer, right click on the image layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. Then add a black and white adjustment layer to it. Use the default settings for it. I have this Ramadan text, and in my previous video, I taught how to create this in Illustrator. Drag it to the main design. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Backspace to apply the background color to it. Select the image layer and adjust it. Then go to the rectangle tool and draw a square. Rotate it and place it here. Select the text and square, right click on them and choose Merge Layers. Select the image layer and add layer mask to it. Go to the Brush tool, use these settings. And apply. Then I have this gold background, link to this is mentioned in the description. Drag it to the main design. Create clipping mask. Adjust it. Now select the Rectangle Plus Image and Adjustment layer, right-click on them. And choose Convert to Smart Object. Hide the text layer. And make a selection of Minaret using a pen tool. Follow me here. Press Ctrl plus J for layer via copy of it. And drag it up in the layer panel. Here I need a little adjustment, I am using the polygonal lasso tool for it. Go to the type tool and type the text. Follow my text settings here.
I have these birds PNG, you can easily download it from the internet. Place it here. Make a selection of the outside birds, and press Ctrl plus Shift plus J. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Backspace to apply the background color to it. Hold the Alt button to make a copy of it. Then I have this, Arabic Learn Creative logo. Place it here and apply the color to it. Finally select the text layer. Right click on it to open the blending option. and apply the drop shadow to it. Follow my shadow settings. And that's it. If you have any question please ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.